Hey everyone, so I thought I'd just film this quick video because, um, I'm supposed to be leaving at like 2 o'clock and it's like 2.15 now and my friend didn't even tell me that he left to pick me up his house yet. So anyway, I should, I don't know how long I had to film this video so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. Um, I am going to be filming my March favorites and you want to know something funny? On every single video that I have on this channel, I'm wearing my purple, uh, pink jacket, so I purposely, purple jacket from pink by, by Victoria's Secret, and I purposely didn't wear that today, so, I wouldn't be wearing it three videos in a row, but, um, yeah, it's a really nice jacket. Anyway, so I only have a couple of things here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. This palette, um, by Too Faced. Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. I think this was in my December favorites too, actually. But, um, it's a really nice palette. I think it's $36, somewhere around there. And you get it from, you can find it at Sephora or Ulta is where I got mine. It's the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette, and it's just perfect for whatever occasion, school, going out with your friends, nighttime, you can really make it as dark as you want or as light as you want. Today I'm just wearing, this is what I like to wear when I don't like to go too crazy, the Silk Teddy color, just that nice light pink color and I just love how all the colors look on me and they work for any occasion and I guess it's my version of the Naked Palette. The Naked Palette is like $50. This is only like $35. So it is quite a bit less. And I just didn't see the need to get the Naked Palette. And I don't know why, but I just like this one a lot. And the quality of the shadows are really good too. They last all day, I believe. So... Yeah, if you're looking for a nice neutral palette, the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette is the palette for you. Um, as far as face goes, the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder, um, the Long Lasting Pressed Powder in Creamy Natural is my shade. And the reason I like this powder is because it makes my foundation last, you know, just that much longer. The the thing is, it doesn't make it last all day, which I'm still looking for that perfect powder that does. But the reason why I like this powder is because it is stay matte. I do not have oily skin by any means, but sometimes the foundation, especially the foundation I have right now, the Nearly Naked Revlon foundation, it is overrated. And it makes my skin look really oily, so I just like to... Um, and it doesn't match my skin tone perfectly, but with this, and I'm wearing that right now, the Nearly Naked in this, and it just kind of finishes it out, if that makes any sense at all. Just kind of even my skin tone is what I'm looking for, and it makes it look matter, more matte. I have been loving this blush. I think this was also my December favorite. This is the CoverGirl Classic Color Blush in the shade Rose Silk. CoverGirl, the color is 540 Rose Silk, and it's just a classic color blush. I have not seen anybody talk about this blush on YouTube as of yet, and I have no idea why. It's such a beautiful color, and it's so natural. I've been loving it a lot, a lot, a lot, um, especially this month. Um, you know, before this month, I kind of dabbled in it here and there, but this month, I have worn it pretty much every day, and I barely even made a dent in it. It's perfect for my skin tone. Um, it's really hard to find a blush that looks good with my skin tone, because I am so fair. Like, I have to buy the lightest foundation color, and it's still too dark. That's how you know how that you're really uh, pale but um this blush works great it's just the pigmentation is great the last ability is not the best I will admit that 
but when you first apply it, it looks really nice, I think, and it just gives such a natural glow. It gives you that something extra that makes me look, because sometimes I'll put my foundation on and I'm like, wow, I just look really washed out and this just adds some color to my skin so I don't look so sickly. Anyway, it's this color by the just the Ulta brand, in the shade Main Attraction. So um, it's just this nice um, turquoise mermaidish color, and yeah, I think it works really well. I like it. It's good transition into spring. It's, I feel like this color is kind of a basic color that everyone needs to have, and I like it. And the Ulta polishes, um, they're okay. They last uh, like four days before they start chipping. Yeah, because I put, because I just redid them yesterday. Um, but this I did on Friday, and it's Wednesday. So, a little bit over four days. And then the last two things I have are lip products. The first is a baby lips color in the shade Grapevine. And this color looks so scary. Um, my mom got this for me, actually. And I'm like, and she said this is the only one that the store had. This one and another one that I, that I already had, actually. But um, I looked at it and I'm like, Woohoo, that looks scary. But then I put it on and I realized it's kind of like a um, Your Lips But Better shade. I'll swatch it. I'm trying to swatch it, but it's really that sheer. Like these baby lips are very sheer, so um, don't be scared of it. It's right there. So, as you can tell, pretty sheer. Um, and I like putting it on in the morning before school because after I put my foundation on, my lips feel a little bit dry. Plus, I want the color, so instead of putting on, um, running over and getting a chapstick and all this, it's just kind of a chapstick in one. Although, it does dry out your lips by midday, so make sure you carry a chapstick with you if you're planning on doing that. But, um, you should always have a chapstick with you anyway. But... By midday, it is kind of, but I like it, it's fun for just that extra pop of color for the day. And my last item is, is a Revlon Lip Butter in the shade Juicy Papaya. It's one of their new shades, apparently, and I was just at Target, and looking at the lip butters, I'm like, ooh, I have not seen this one before. And one was open, so I was able to swatch it on my hand. So I'll swatch it in a second. But it looks like this. It's just a nice peachy color. And I'm wearing it right now. It looks so natural. Perfect for school, the daytime. If you want something, a little bit some, a little bit of something on your lips, but um, not too much. Looks like that. Tell me that. It's not a beautiful color. I love it. Um, it's great if you want something on your lips but don't want, like say you have that dark smoky eye or you just want to go for the more natural look today which is the look I'm going for. And just slip that right on. I love Revlon lip butters. I do not think they are overrated at all. They are definitely worth the hype. If you have been kind of avoiding them, then I would say just go check them out they're they're great I love them um, I think this one is a good one for the daytime and very smoothie oh for the nighttime or daytime also I love them a lot so those were my March favorites I know I didn't have a lot but that's what I've been loving in March that's what I've been that's what I've been wearing um, Although I always turn off the camera and I always forget something. But um, for now, that's what I have. And I'll talk to you next time. And I will try not to be so distant. So, yeah.
nails right now. Oh, I got a chip. My nails are perfect before I film. Oh, another chip. Oh, great. I don't know how that happened before I filmed this video. Like, I was getting my nails and like, they look good. And now I realize I have a chip. Um, 